Oh, oh no! Oh no, 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 no! Hello and welcome to the War Games Orchard. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. It's Nathan here with you, and I'm gonna take you through Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate, one of the greatest Warhammer video games of all time, in my humble opinion. This is XCOM with a 40k skin, and it is a wonderful piece of Warhammer history. This game came out in 1998, and to be honest with you, I haven't played it much since then, because for a long time it was hard to get a current computer to run this game. Luckily, I have the GOG version of Chaos Gate that has been all fixed up for modern computers, and we're going to go through and do a little bit of a challenge today. We're going to do a new campaign, and we are going to see if I can beat the very first level. That might not sound like a challenge, but I have to remind you that I am very bad at video games, as well as being bad at Warhammer, so I am singularly unqualified to do this. And to up the challenge a little bit more, we're going to keep... No, we're not going to keep it on Veteran. You know what? We're going to do some Mighty Hero. The hardest of these challenges. Let's go. We get our opening cutscene here, and we're not going to watch the whole thing because I'm going to tell you right now, you never see anything that isn't Captain Kruger's back here. It's just a very slow pan around this space marine. Kind of neat to see him without the power pack, though. Anyway, he's looking for a chaos artifact for reasons and he's found it on this jungle world that we are about to go into. That's what it looks like. It's called the uh, Chao the Concordat Chaosium. All right, let's skip that. This is our screen that shows us our mission briefing here. Eventually, we're going to go and configure our squads, and then we're going to go and enter combat. First, let's get our mission briefing. We have to go to a Chaos Temple. Temple is but lightly guarded, or at least we hope so. I don't know what it's going to look like on Mighty Hero difficulty. For this mission, we are going to have one squad of Chaos... of Space Marines, not Chaos Space Marines. That would be much easier, because Chaos Space Marines are cooler. Look at this guy. Also no power pack. There's just nothing there. I don't know why they didn't... They gave him a power pack, but not this guy. I don't know why that is. Anyway, now we get to choose our squads. The squads are pretty much the same. These ones are all tactical squads. The ones that are locked are the Terminators, the Assault, and the Devastator squad. Usually what you would do is you would kind of go through their stats here and see which ones you like the best, which ones you think will be best for the mission. That's kind of boring and takes up a lot of time, so what we're going to do is take a quick look at their names and see which one... which of these squads looks the best. Mm. Ooh, Magnus. Asmodeus. Philotus. Tacticus. Valerius. They're strong. I do like this first one, though. Crixus. Calidus. Saturnius, Saturnius, Severus, Severus Snape, and Faustinius. Okay, let's go with the first squad here, and let's get that. All right, so for this one, I don't necessarily believe that we're going to need a heavy weapon. We can give one of the squad a heavy weapon, but this one, from my memory, is just very close confines for the most part, especially once you get into the temple. So I'm thinking we're probably going to go with a flamer. And I'm going to see, I'm going to assign the flamer for the worst shot in the squad. That'd be Faustinius here. So he's going to carry our flamer. Everyone else just has to deal with a bolter because you get one special or one heavy weapon. What I am going to do, though, is load everyone up with an extra crack grenade. Crack grenades in this game are terrifyingly good at killing other space marines. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to give out a couple extra med kits here. I don't 
want anyone dying on this first level. That would be embarrassing. Uh, let's give someone. Let's give him a plasma grenade just to change things up a little bit. All right. Oh, maybe not him. A plasma grenade. He has the worst ballistic skill. You can't really miss that much with a plasma grenade, right? All right. Here we go. Enter combat. All right, here we are. We have entered the game. We're in a nice little jungle environment here. We got our boys all set up on these hills. This is where we start. And as you can see here, I'm going to zoom out so we can see the whole battlefield here. We got our Chaos Temple up here that we're going to have to slog through. And, oh man, we are just lousy with cultists to start things off. Uh, let's zoom in here. And we got to bring up our little mini-map so we can actually see where everyone is. So we got some cultists up here. These guys, let's zoom in on them. They're pretty funny as far as designs go. For the most part, the designers of this game were able to use the 40k models to base their designs on. But I, I, there was really no cultist models at the time for Chaos. So we got these fat dudes in togas with las pistols. <laughs> They're pretty great. Uh, not hugely threatening for the most part. Kind of free XP for you. But if they get close enough, they all have frag grenades, and they can kill you pretty quick with those. So we're going to be trying to thin these guys down. Of course, we are hugely outnumbered, but we are the best space marines here as ultramarines. So hopefully we'll be able to take these guys out without too much trouble. I think we're going to start trying to take out these guys since they're the closest and the biggest threat. So this is our flamer guy. He's not going to be able to do much right off the hop. Uh, and then we got these. So this game does a thing where you can cut down the levels and it gets kind of weird looking sometimes because it automatically cuts down to the level of whichever dude you have selected. All right. So let's start blowing some fools away here. I want to start with you up on the hill here. And all right. This is long range, but oh, look at that right off the hop there. So that's Saturnius. And, uh, oh, I hit the ground, but, uh, still hitting the ground here. There we go. Okay. Killed two. Good start. All right. Now let's go. Oh, you're the flamer. You're going to move up a little bit here. Just, okay. Maybe going to set you guys on run so that you actually get somewhere. You're going to go up a little bit. You should advance as well. We need to get... The problem with this game is, like, bushes and things even can really mess with your guy's aim somehow. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to have him move up, up, up here. Uh, and we're going to put him on Overwatch. I should allow him to get a couple of shots off. Maybe, yeah, just like that. Uh, this guy, he needs to take this guy out. I'm going to have him move up a little bit first here, though. Get a better shot. Okay, and sometimes they just tank your bolt rounds. There we go. Okay. So that's not too bad. And, of course, he's behind a tree here, so I'm going to have him step forward, turn this way, go to Overwatch. So he should get a shot off as the cultists on that side advance. Uh, so this guy is our captain. So the captains are interesting because, and the sergeants are interesting because they don't really have any better stats than the rest of your squad. Sometimes markedly worse. Uh, it seems to be all randomized as far as I can tell. Uh, but they do have the fun red helmets, so there's that. Uh, he's going to go on Overwatch as well. Not going to put the flamer guy on Overwatch just yet, and I shot everything with this dude. All right, we are ready for turn two. Good turn one. I'm expecting lots more cultists. And here comes lots more cultists. Oh, that's some good overwatch. Oh my god. Sometimes, guys. It's okay, we're not in real trouble until they start getting close to us. The last pistols really don't do much from range. In my experience. 
Here they come. They're just running up. They're barefoot, too. These guys are really poorly equipped. If one of my Space Marines, my elite warriors of the Imperium, want to hit on Overwatch, it would be real swell. Oh, here they come. Alright, turn two. Here we go. So, everyone's getting closer. It looks like there's about four... It looks like there's about 12 cultists here. So, this is a, a good amount of cultists, certainly. Uh, more cultists than I want uh, in my face. So, I got no chance of hitting him. I got a good chance of hitting him. So, there, you'll see a bunch of numbers uh, when I scroll over a cultist. Uh, that 56 slash 100... I honestly don't know what that means, except that the higher numbers seem to give you a higher chance of hitting, whereas like a 0-0 zero, zero here, you have no chance of hitting. I guess it's the amount of cover. Look, it's been a long time since I read the manual, all right? Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, I'll put him on Overwatch there, so you can get a better shot off as those guys ad advance. So we still got a whole bunch of cultists here. I'm tempted to just put most of these guys on Overwatch. Uh, who can you, you can see quite a few things here. Let's... Whoop. All right. Hmm. Okay, it looks like a pretty clear line of sight. Uh, see, this guy, has, I'm, I'm worried about this tree here because your guys will take any opportunity to shoot the local flora instead of shooting any of the chaos warriors tempted to just put him on overwatch as well although these guys were real bad on overwatch last turn let's take a couple shots oh nice okay so that was good uh i think this guy might be the best maybe this guy uh oh all right let's let's slap you on overwatch here you still got a couple shots left uh, so these guys here. I'll move you over just a little bit. And you're going to go on Overwatch. We're going to have him come up here. Oh, his armor took a little bit of damage, I think, from those Laz pistols. So. We're there. All right. Sometimes it's a little iffy putting a flamer on Overwatch, but there's really nothing in front of him... That should hurt my own self. Okay, just a big conga line of cultists. That's fine. Everything is fine. Can we have a little bit of a view here? Yeah, that'll that'll show him. And that cultist didn't even flinch when he got hit. I'm kind of scared of that guy. Okay, just tank two bolt shots. That's fine. Anyone can do that. I mean, it's just 50 cal exploding round. Hey, things are getting a little dicey here. Oh man, if I can move up... Uh-oh. That's a lot of shots. Still just last pistols, though, so I feel like we should be okay. Uh, okay, yeah, they didn't really do anything. Uh, I really want to move up to flame these guys. So I think we're going to do that. You need more action points to shoot a flamer than a gun for whatever reason. Oh, yeah. That was cool. I can't get that guy. Could put him back on Overwatch. I think he's got enough to do another flame shot. I think. I might move this guy up the hill a little bit. Let's see. Uh, ooh, it's 10. It's not too bad. Give him a better line of view here. Okay, so he's got three shots on him. Uh, it's 24.98. Kind of worried about this guy a little bit. Or this guy. Should probably take that guy out. Oh, wow. That actually worked. All right. I'm going to hit. I'm going to hit one of the trees. I'm sure of it. Or just the ground. Sure. Come on. Oh, yes. Got him. All right. That's good. He's got nothing left for Overwatch, but we don't have that many cultists hanging around. 
So this guy, so who is this? Uh, Calidus. I guess he can hit this guy. Or he can just... Okay. Oh, we got him. We got him. We'll put him on Overwatch for the last turn. Overwatch. So the captain hasn't done diddly squat. Uh, let's move him up. Put him on Overwatch. And then... You... Covering our flank here. What do you got? 56. That seems like not a great shot. Uh, let's put you... Keep you on Overwatch. You're still on Overwatch. Yeah. Keep him on Overwatch. All right. Let's see what you got, Chaos Cultus. This isn't so bad so far. Hey! He did a thing. Come on. Okay, you got one. Alright, turn four here. I think we're almost through this initial wave of cultists. And then we can get into the temple and do some actual work. Let's pop out. Let's zoom out a little bit here. What we want is clear shots on the cultist, and it's pretty easy to get trees and things in the way. Let's move him. Oh, yeah. There we go. Sorry I doubted you, Sergeant Crixus. Some of the names in this game are fantastic. All right, Faustinius. <gasps> Faustinius, no! Oh, my God, look at his health. Man, taking too many Laz shots, apparently. Wow, I, uh... Might have thought like a bit of a dummy when I said that these guys don't really hit you too hard. Oof. Okay. Wow. Can you... Okay, yeah, you got no... Alright, well, there's only one of these guys, so I feel like we can move up pretty safely and take some shots. Alright. 95. That's not too bad. All right. Oh, yeah, we got him. Pinpoint accuracy. All right. So, I think we're good to move up to the door. So, there's two entrances to this. And the first one is right here, and you open it with this lever. There's a second one all the way over here, and it's hidden by some bushes and things. If I had taken anti-plant grenades, you can actually destroy this and go in this way, but I feel like that isn't sporting enough. Plus, we want all of the experience from killing all of the Chaos Space Marines and all the cultists, so the front door is clearly our best bet. We're back here, we just have one more cultist to uh, defeat, and then we can go into the temple. All right, good to see that the cultists are as good a shots as my ultramarines. How do you have no chance of hitting? Just, are you really... Oh, come on. Come on, up you go. There we go. All right, there we go. So now I'm going to get these guys all positioned and we will cut back once we're ready to open the door and storm the temple. Alright, we're back at the start of turn 7, and we're about to open the gates and see what lies within. Okay. Hmm. Oop. Okay. Nothing here that I can see. Look at this graffiti. I mean, come on, clean your temple. You made a lovely ornate temple and you just splatter it with blood. Come on, guys. Alright. I'm gonna enter here. Still nothing. 
Uh-oh. Okay. So this is a thing. All right. Why is my chance to hit him so low? Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to come in and we're going to flame this dude. Maybe one more time. There we go. So when you see them go on fire like this, they can't actually take any actions because they're on fire. They just kind of wander around and take damage. It's pretty fantastic. All right, so we're going to have the sergeant move up here, and come on, crack grenade. Oh, wow, that didn't kill him. All right. That's okay, though, because he can't actually do anything to us. So we're going to have these guys come in and cover the other direction. Some overwatch. Stagger them a little bit, because... Otherwise, they might die. All right. Hopefully nothing comes around this corner. I'm going to have this guy come, I think, over here. Maybe just shoot the Chaos Space Marine a couple times. Or one time, sure. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, cultist came around the corner here, and he's dead. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, uh, the Chaos Space Marine died off screen just there. That's good. Uh, so I actually can't get around this side because I spent so much time flaming it. All right, oh, I should have remembered to reload before I entered the temple. That's going to cost me a bunch of action points. Uh, what are you at? You're also at two. Dummy. Okay, there we go. So here we are. We're only going to move up slightly. and We're going to keep on Overwatch. Uh, maybe next turn we come around the corner. Uh, so these guys are just going to go on Overwatch. Not putting the Flamer on Overwatch, especially not behind any of my guys. That is a bad idea. All right. Anybody else want to come and get some? Oh, yeah, we got another cultist here. And he's dead. Man, if they just want to do this, I might be able to get through the first level of Mighty Hero difficulty without losing a single Marine. I feel like I've just jinxed it here, but we'll see. Okay, another Chaos Space Marine with a Bolter. I think what we'll do is maybe wait until next turn. And then round with both of those guys. Okay, the flames went out here. Move these guys up. And then next turn we'll breach with both parts of the squad. Oh yeah, it's getting exciting. Alright. We'll put you back just a little bit. Turn you on Overwatch. Turn you on Overwatch. And, ooh, Flamer. Not putting you on Overwatch. Okay. Can we lure out that Chaos Space? Oh, we did. We lured him. Oh, I put them too close together. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, I... What? How? The, none of these guys were existent last turn. I looked down that hallway. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. This is not fantastic. Okay, I don't know that we took any damage, though. So we're, we're still in a pretty good place. Okay. God, I need you. Okay, I need you. How can I do this? Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Go throw a grenade. So grenade is a... 
think that should be okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. That wasn't so bad. Uh, except I've wasted too many of his points to take a shot. I could take a shot at this Chaos Space Marine, but... Uh, I'm actually gonna... gonna flee. There we go. I don't think the AI knows to target the ground, so hopefully these guys will be safe from getting fragged. Alright. On this side of things, hopefully uh, things go a little smoother. Okay, what are we seeing? Uh, just a cultist. Okay. We can deal with just a cultist. If we don't hit the floor, okay, you have a clear line of sight, Calidus. God, you are so disappointing. All right. I'll have the sergeant show you how it's done. God, I wish the sergeant had a few more action points. All right. Two shot. Really? Oh, my God. You hit him in the back. In the back with an explosive shell. Okay, and you just sit tight, flamer dude. All right, let's see how things go over here once that Chaos Space Marine rounds the corner. Come on. Oh, oh. Oh no! Oh no 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 no! Oh, there's two of them! One of them has a flamer. Oh no! This is the worst of all things, of all eventualities and all possibilities. Okay. Let's scroll over here. Okay. Oh boy. Alright. How am I doing? Health-wise, I'm fine. Took a bit of hit on the armor. Okay, this guy has to die. He has to die right now, or I am done. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to throw crack grenades at him until he dies. Please die. Oh god, please die. Please die. Oh, I don't have enough action points. Right, uh, you're going to go here. And... You're... Okay, thank god. All right. You kind of, kind of crack grenade this guy too. <gasps> oh, that was so lucky, so lucky. Okay, that is why you always bring as many crack grenades as you can carry. That was almost disaster. All right, let's go here where these cultists are just tanking shots all day, every day. And there we go. And are you gonna do this guy too? Yeah, you are. Good shooting, Calidus. I take back most of the mean things I said about you. Uh, you can chill out in Overwatch. I have you go a little bit further. Chill out in Overwatch. Okay, so I heard the sound of a teleport. It's kind of like a wah wow sound. And that means that someone teleported in, but they teleported outside of my line of sight. So... Probably either in the room with the artifact or in the hallway that I can't see. I'm gonna have you move up here as well. And let's put you into Overwatch as well. This is going very well. I didn't expect to have all of my Marines still. Thank goodness for crack grenades. That's the moral of this story. Okay, heard some more teleport sounds in, so I think we're going to get another wave of something. What that is, uh, we shall see. Pop both of these boys on Overwatch. Alright, so we're slowly clearing our way through the temple. Things are going pretty well. And... Overwatch... Overwatch. Don't want you hitting 
So they can hit each other. Uh, friendly fire is a thing in this game. So, and I don't want them all lined up. So we're just going to leave him as is, where is. Okay. Oh, God. All right. So we got another Chaos Space Marine here. Don't know what he's got. Which could be an issue. All right. Uh, are we going to have these guys breach? I might have the Flamer guy breach here. Just poke his head around the corner. Okay. Is this all you can see? Okay, so it might just be the Chaos Space Marine and the Cultist. Now let's do some close fighting. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. We've located two enemies. Okay, so another Cultist around that corner. Uh, switch you back. Let's... No, not you. Crixus, uh, you're going to go up here. Crixus... I feel like, like, I know it's like the fake Latin Ultramarines names, but Crixus sounds a little bit sinister. I don't know. So these guys should be okay, actually, to line up, because no one's going to get to them with a grenade. Uh, and we're going to put them on Overwatch. Shoot. If I had been a little bit care more careful with the AP there, he could have probably gotten two shots off. Uh, let's push you on. All you guys are on Overwatch now. So. Let's do some shooting. Yeah, we're going to get him. Meet your doom. Meet your doom. Oh, man. Are you going to hit on all your shots? No. No, I jinxed it. That was my that was my bot bad. That was, a, that was a dumb, dumb thing for me to say. All right. You're going to go on Overwatch as well. And now let's take him out. Okay, well, that was a whole lot of nothing. I guess I killed that cultist, though, so that's pretty good. All right. Glad you just have a bolter. Man, I got apparently a better shot shooting this way than he does, which is excellent. So, oh, your ammunition is gone. Well, I don't have the AP to do that. Oh, that's not not my finest moment in this game. All right. Let's pop you over here. Is that going to give you a good shot? Oh, no, you're still at a zero percent. Uh, so what else can we do here? I'm pretty sure there's going to be something in this room, like another Chaos Space Marine, so I don't really want to come around this corner. But that puts me in an odd spot for trying to kill that last Chaos Space Marine. Of course, if anything does come around this corner, it's in big trouble. Just got my squad over here. What if we move you, force him to move? I think that's a good idea. Let's move you back here. And then if he wants a shot, he's going to come. Going to have to take a step out or two, I think. Yeah. Lured him out. How did you hit that? Oh, man, they can really throw grenades far in this game. Wait, did I get a second grenade thrown at me? I don't know where that came from. Yikes. All right. All right. So this is my flamer guy. I feel like the guy in there might have noticed me. Oh, I don't think he did. But let's flame him. Beautiful. Alright, that's what we wanted to have happen. Alright, now I think we are good. I don't know where that other grenade came from, but maybe he threw another kind of want it up here. Okay, let's alter. Don't really care about that. Okay, I should get two shots off here. 
Didn't do much. Should have gone for the grenade, I think. Alright, these guys. Gonna move on up. And these guys. Gonna move on up here. Anti-plant grenades. Oh, I found a... Uh, ammunition. Cool. Alright, I probably don't need it at this point. I think you auto-collect that as long as you trigger the little pop-up, I want to say. I honestly don't remember. Alright, we got one more Chaos Space Marine that has to die here, and then we're perfect. Oh, wait. Well, that's... that's cheating. I forgot there was an upstairs. Okay. Uh, oh, wow. I don't know what to do. I can't follow him up that way because I don't want to get destroyed by my own flamer. But there is a stairway on this side as well. I mean, if I take the the thing, the, the game is over. Like, the, the round is over because this is what we came here for. But, I mean, for completionist's sake, I think I'm gonna need to get that guy. I'm sure it'll be fine. He's gotta be wounded. At least. Alright, everybody's kind of in the room here. I mean, next turn we will go up. And we're gonna get that guy. Where? Did he... Oh, okay. Well, I mean, if he's gonna... He's gonna be like this. Uh, so I should be pretty good here. I might just shoot him to death to try and up my ballistic seal. Ooh, I did take some hits on Saturninus. Uh, okay, let's heal him up. Oh my god, you still didn't reload. Oh, okay. So, this guy, uh... Can I, I can just walk right by this guy, right? Yeah, I totally can. All right. Okay, well... Let's just... Crack grenade him. Oh, wow, that didn't work. Oh, there we go. Alright. Now we should be good. Let's have the sergeant pick up the... Artifact, and... Boom. Yeah. And we end the mission. Here we are in the post-mission debriefing. Brother Crixus, our sergeant, got two awards here. Two awards. The Imperial Laurel and the Marksman Honor. Pretty cool. Uh, he killed four Chaos Cultists. I don't know where he got all of this bling from for killing four Chaos Cultists. I think he did the least of any of these Space Marines. Uh, Brother Calidus killed a Chaos Space Marine and five Cultists, but only got the Marksman Honor. Brother Saturnius here. Look at this dude. Killed nine Chaos Cultists. No Chaos Space Marines, but still impressive amount of Chaos Cultists. Brother Sever- Oh, Brother Severus leveled up. He's now a Space Marine veteran. So that's cool. And uh, so oh, so we get to see his new stats down here. So he gets a pretty big boost here. Easily the best guy now uh, that I have. And he killed two Chaos Space Marines. Killed a Chaos Space Marine Aspiring Champions. Killed three Chaos Space Marines. Severus Snape for the win. Oh my god, this guy- cannot be stopped. He's got the magic. And... Brother Faustinius is last... Oh, he didn't get anything. He killed the Chaos Space Marine, though. He still did more than the Sergeant. I don't know why the Sergeant gets all the glory. Two awards. Killed four cultists. Come on. Alright, guys. That is going to be it for this one. What do you think? Do you like it? 
If you do, please leave a uh, like, and if you're not subscribed already, consider subscribing. We're going to do a lot of fun Warhammer stuff. Once lockdown ends, we're going to get back to do streaming our actual battle reports. In the meantime, I'm going to keep doing stuff like this, stuff like my Lost Units video. This was tons and tons of fun, and I really hope you enjoyed this. If you like it enough, maybe I will play the second mission and get absolutely crushed. Until next time, have a great week.